Hey guys, today we're gonna look at Vite again. I'm gonna take some suggestions from you guys. We're actually gonna upgrade it to the latest version and I'm just gonna talk a little bit more about Vite and uh, yeah, see what you guys like. So let's begin. Oh yeah, and hey, let's have a quick word from our sponsor. Let's have a quick word from our sponsor and today it is Eduonix. That's E-D-U-O-N-I-X.com. They are a course platform. They have a lot of courses and a lot of great deals. They have these monthly sales like this month, it's buy one, get one free. So make sure you check it out. I actually have a coupon code ERIC20, that's E-R-I-K-20, that you can get additional 20% off. But I wanna highlight real quickly one of their e-degrees. It's the full stack JavaScript developer e-degree. So this has like 55 hours of content. It has over 2000 students already. It's basically a complete resource to learn full stack JavaScript web development. It's a comprehensive program, includes over 12 courses, 30 projects, and hundreds of source code snippets. And uh, as it says, the only resource you need to learn full stack web development. So I would highly rec recommend looking at this. I looked at the course curriculum. So it has everything from HTML, semantic HTML, advanced CSS, JavaScript, goes into frameworks, even goes into PWA, PWAs. So check this out. Make sure you use the code ERIK20. I'll have the link in the description. Make sure you click on that link and check out Eduonics. Thanks. All right. So here is what we created last time. So if you don't know, Vite is an experimental no bundle server for Vue SFCs, which stands for single file components. It's really cool. Evan Yu just released it recently. Uh, you can see he actually from his Twitter that it was just like a week ago. So the, the reason you want to may want to use something like this is it's just really, really fast. It's it doesn't use like Webpack or a bundler. And it has hot module replacement, which is really neat. You can actually do CSS preprocessors. It's you can build it, so it's experimental. It's not really not meant for production right now, but you can use it for production, I guess. If you if you want to be bleeding edge, it's probably not recommended. Uh, so yeah, so there, it's really cool. I mean, I've seen a lot of people talking about this, and I actually did a video on it. If you want, I'll leave a link in the description below to the playlist. If you click on that playlist, you can see my first video and you'll watch this video and I'll probably do a few more videos in white as uh, as things continue to change and uh, develop with Vite. In fact, I just released this um, a video a couple of days ago and things have already changed. So I wanted to see if I could upgrade the app that we created, which is this very, very simple app with the home and contact. Uh, I'm actually not, uh, I don't have the server running right now. But let's say if we can go ahead and get that upgraded to to uh, the latest version. So when I did this originally, if you look at the package JSON, I was using 4.0 Alpha 7 as my view router and Vite 0.5.1. But in the last few days, they have already released, I believe they are up to 0 0.81. Yeah, 0 0.81, looking at the package.json. And view router is up to alpha nine. So just in a couple days, things have already bumped up a few times. And I think, um, yeah, the, things are just moving really quickly. My internet's a little slow right now. But so I just kind of wanted to take a look to see uh, if we can still get our app working. Someone's told me that it might be broken at this point. So I don't know, it might be. Cool, so first uh, what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start my server. Okay, so that's our disk folder. So here's the Vite. Remember, if you are just listening to this for the first time, you don't you know how to use it, you can do npx. It's npx, I believe. Let me see here, npx. Create Vite app, and then the name of the app. And then you can do npm run build, and you can go ahead and uh, build it if you need to. So that's how you do it. I already have an app created here. So uh, we don't need to do that. So I, I believe it's npm run dev. You can see the server's already running really quick on port 3000 and it's Vite 0 0.5.3. And also we were getting um, some, some kind of errors here though everything was working fine. So I wanna see if the new version fixes some of that. Cool, so here is this. Okay, so it's still working. Um, don't worry about these errors. This is a part of an extension I have in Chrome. I should really disable that. Cool, so things are still working, but let's let's do an upgrade of our dependencies. So we know this is 8.1 um, and alpha 9. I wanna just make sure I change those. And 
and I'm going to stop my server. I'm just going to blow away the mo NPM modules and I'm going to do another NPM install. So this will just take a moment. Okay, so everything's installed now. All right, so let's let's go ahead and restart it. NPM run dev, and let's see if we are still working. So, okay, no, we are not working. So if you look here, it says a reference process is not defined in view router. So, um, so definitely upgrading to the latest builds broke something. Now I think I know um, an issue. Someone, some actually opened an issue in here, um, in the actual GitHub, where they couldn't resolve correctly, and they said to actually import it from view router slash disk slash view router dot esm dot js. So I'm gonna try to see if that will fix it. Um, so here's our create web history. So that will replace this line right here. So I'll just comment that out. And we'll see if that helps. OK, cool. So it looks like things are working again. All right. So if you have been following the actual tutorial from last time, you actually have to put the Zach path to view router ESM. Otherwise, it fails. Um, once again, don't worry about this. This is just a these errors right here is from a extension. In fact, I'll show you. So if you open this up incognito and then run it, and I uh, open up my inspect, and I open up inspect here, and I go to console and refresh it. You see, I, I don't get any errors. Everything's working fine. And also, I don't get any errors here. So cool. All right, so that's that's uh, one of the major things I want to say is that if you've been following along with the tutorial before and you're trying to add view router in, make sure you actually add it in this way because it just happens to be that someone had the exact same issue that I had. Um, well, someone mentioned it, that it wasn't working right. So that's really cool. So Alpha 9 now is still working. Uh, you know, other things people have been talking about, um, if we go back to the GitHub issue here, let me go back here to Vite. He actually did add, uh, he added another section. He talks a little bit more about that ES bundler, but he says, what is the difference between ES dev server? ES dev server is a great project and we did some, some observation from when, ref when refactoring Vite in the early stages. That said, here's why Vite is different from the ES dev server. Vite supports hot module replacement, which surgically updates the updated module with re without reloading the page. This fundamental difference in terms of development experience. Vite aims to be a single tool that integrates both the dev and build processes. You can use Vite to both serve and bundle the same source code. And Vite requires native ES module imports. It does not intend to burden itself with support for legacy browsers. So uh, some people are asking why like ES dev server is, uh, what's the difference between that? So that's all, That's this is a really quick video today. I just wanted to kind of give you an update from the, from the video I did a couple of days ago. I really want to hear what you guys are interested in with Vite, so leave a comment below. Let me know what you want me to look at next. Do you want me to create a full app? Do you want me to kind of play around with um, getting more stuff with the router or maybe trying to get in Vuex? One thing I definitely, like I said in my last video, I want to look more more on Vuex, especially Vuex 4 with TypeScript. Maybe I can get Vuex up and running with Vite. That'd be cool. I think there's going to be really a lot of stuff that's going to happen this it already has 2500 stars in github it's only been a few days so a lot of interest by people are looking at this you know i think this could be this could be really cool also evan's been talking about just saying things like what about um uh standard like view press vite press and and other things that he's just kind of talking about he said he's never going to go back to webpack and he says how about super optimized standard HTML based templates you can drop down to render functions at any time. So, you know, a lot of people are talking about view three, a lot of things are cool things are coming out of this. So just want to see, I uh, just want to let you guys know, keep you guys updated when these cool things out come, come out for view, especially view three, view three is very close, just around the corner. I would say it's in beta right now. So maybe another month or two, I'm hoping even sooner. And once View 3 drops, I will be doing multiple videos on View 3, probably um, as many as I can. 
and also just kind of just deep diving into the composition API. I've already seen in the last few weeks really cool ways people are using the composition API, how they're really changing the way you create view apps. Some of it feels a lot like writing in React. Some of it feels a little complicated at first and maybe overcomplicated, but some of it just makes sense. It's like something that we should have had. Uh, some it just just from from uh, watching these videos and and watching reading these tutorials, it, I think this is really going to change the way View Three is created, especially for larger apps. So uh, that's I'm going to sign off right now. I really appreciate you guys watching, listening. Make sure you leave a comment, click that subscribe button. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, I want you guys give yourself a high five, pat yourself on the back. If you haven't already checked out the check out the sponsor. Also. Maybe I actually have a view course coming out. I don't know if I'm just going to talk about this for a minute. It's called course. It's called View 360. I'm really hoping to launch it early May. It's pretty much an end-to-end -end view app uh, tutorial. It's it's really five weeks of content. It's for people that want to level up. It's definitely geared towards more intermediate to advanced developers who want to go to that next level for Vue.js. Um, it just it. I'm really happy i did a class in february i'm going to start another class in may i'm really excited about this if you want to join this class go to course.viewcourse.tech and actually i'm actually if you sign up um i will be notifying you guys when the course is out i'll be sending you some emails i'll be sending you some tips and tricks a cheat sheet so sign up for the course i will uh, when it's out i'll let you know and maybe you can join me on this journey to level up View, your uh, review knowledge. So I really appreciate it. Thanks again. Take care.